Well, I'm back, folks, with another video here for you. I completed a milestone today. I took off, or I finished the circuit board, my own circuit board, to to run the Arduino chip and all the components required for this particular project. You may remember, here, let me show you this previous video, I had the store-bought Arduino board pre-manufactured with my breadboard and a mess of alligator wire clips and leads, and, and that just... Of course, you cannot use that in a real project, and I do not want to waste the $25, $30 for the Arduino board, so that's why I made my own circuit board here. Um, I was very surprised when I finished it today, after hours and hours of soldering, that it worked right away. I didn't have any problems with it. Um, it doesn't look like much. Just a few components here, really, but but if I'll, let me show you the back here. It was a lot of small soldering and I learned that I should not drink coffee and solder or something like this at the same time <laughs> there was a lot of shaking involved so but I came out fortunate because everything worked like I said but I will not be drinking coffee anymore while soldering that's not a good idea and then you'll recognize this button probably from the other video too uh, I just made a custom acrylic case for that That's and I just haven't attached the top yet but um, that's going to be attached to the garage door, which will happen soon, hopefully. So anyways, let me give you a demonstration. I'll plug this in. Red light came on for show that there's power to this board. And here we go. I'm going to push the button like I'm a cat wanting to go out. So the door is lifting. It hits this upper, li upper limit switch. Stops for the cat to go through, it's going to beep when it comes back down. So now it's coming back down. And when it hits the bottom, then it will hit this limit switch and stop and be reset for the next time they want to use the cat door. <laughs> 